Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Tuesday, August 21st, 2018. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. So far, we've seen this thing continue to trend higher. Even the recent pullback, again, was a short term opportunity for bulls to come in, defend, and push this and return it back to highs. As we noted before, as the market started to show initial signs of weakness up above the previous month's high, we noted that this could be a short-term pullback, but to take whatever the market gives you because this thing could turn right back around and return to highs. And that's what's happened here over the last couple of weeks. Nice little pullback, nice continuation. It doesn't mean we're going to drive through the highs by any means. We're in a trading range here. Yes, we could push a little bit higher and then come right back on down as this thing continues to trade sideways a little bit. Uh, but overall, again, as I continue to mention, we're not at a zone that's very favorable for, for bulls here. Uh, we're nearing the highs of the year. Uh, there's been a lot of selling pressure above 2850 overall. And if there's any failure to establish acceptance here, there's some room to run to the downside. Two downside levels, 2790 and 2700, could be easy downside targets. Uh, but above that zone here, above 27, uh, 2878, clear air above and so not a whole lot there uh, again if price can muster the energy to push through there it could be significant but remember this large range here was designed to keep prices within that range uh, that impulse sell-off here was designed to keep prices in the range for a period of time here we are going on basically nine months sideways in this range and now we could be looking at uh, well eight full months here we could be looking at nine here if price cannot push through in September so again just some longer term ideas here but for right now uh, for the most part short term strength any failure to hold the, the 2850 will will suggest another rotation back to the downside now if we take a look at the NQ and this one doesn't look quite as bullish as the ES this one has kind of held back a little bit and is forming kind of a flag if you want to go old school pattern here a little flag that can tend to lead to a move like this overall this pattern is compressing significantly uh, but we haven't really found great direction other than just thing is trending up to the for the most part we have a great channel that's intact and at some point we may see this thing break to the upside and go for the upper end of the channel. So again, 7440 may be that pivot there that can open up some upside. At some point here, we may see a stop run day in effect. And again, that will be above recent high. 7440 would really get this thing going. So we could be looking at a nice push higher. Any t uh, pullback to 7200, likely an opportunity for bulls to defend yet again. Let's take a look at crude oil. Now, crude oil has been developing within a very, very narrow four-day range. Uh, this is about as narrow a range that I've seen in, in a while. If we drop this down to four here, you'll actually see what how it's quantified on the indicator down here. Very, very narrow, 1.33 points over four-day period. It's been averaging 3.27 points in this market, but over here when there was more volatility it had been averaging five bucks on a four day basis so right now to average or to be at a dollar thirty three very tiny you can look at it on here just nothing comes close all year long except for maybe this zone right here and that was right before we had a major expansive breakout move so again the point is we could be looking at significant breakout day here pretty soon uh, we gotta continue to be patient but uh, any breakout could lead to a major stop run day that day, and it could also uh, impact the, the overall direction of this move. I think we still have some downside that could be seen. 66.30 is the key level. Above that level opens up a return back towards 70. But again, this market has been very reluctant to go higher. It, the easy money has been to the downside. So if we break to the upside, I'd be watching for signs of rejection at 66.30. That could lead to a major push downward towards 63 maybe even into the 62s all right let's take a look now at gold futures here gold is pulling back now this one has been sold off significantly I mean it's just been very very bearish here recently we had a very significant rejection day 
Uh, it closed a little more, uh, a little less bullish than I would have liked, but it still has continued higher. It's hit the 1200, 1204 zone from below, and that is the major zone right there that will dictate whether we continue lower or higher. So on this first pullback here, into that trigger zone with a downtrending market, the path of least resistance is downward. It's another leg down. We still have more downside that could be hit down into 1124s. That's the, the major downside support. This area right here could get started toward working toward that area. Now, I also mentioned to our trading room, this is also where the change of bias occurs. So say this thing were to drop down, fail off of 1180, that could lead to a squeeze back above that pivot high, back above 1204s, and that could open up 1240 and perhaps even higher. So right now, 1204, 1200, the key level to watch. Path of least resistance is selling to the downside. If that move fails, that's where the stops would come out. We can get a nice move up. So right now, still trending lower is gold. Very significant bearish trend. Has not stopped yet. Will it stop now? Not very confident at the moment, but we'll see if uh, if this thing can can turn it around. Now taking a look lastly at Bitcoin, we talked about how significant the compression has been on this one. Every time it compresses, it's right before it gets a major stop run day. Not always to the upside, but again, this one's showing signs that it could be to the upside. The one day move below 6K was bought yet again. Here's the compression, very significant. You can see a stop run day here yes, or today down and then back up, so that makes it a failed new low that's in play. That could be the day that signals this type of move. We could be maybe a day or two away from perhaps a breakout attempt, and that could push us much, much higher over the course of the next two weeks, somewhere between 8K and 8,200. I wouldn't really overshoot that too far. Again, this market has been forming lower and lower highs. So very, very tightly compressed action. This one could be on the verge of a breakout. Above 6,600 could open up. Uh, especially 6700 but 6600 could be the early entry for continuation toward 8k to 8200 all right that is it for now let's see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck and trade well